Well, hello everyone and welcome to uh, another episode. This is uh, your host, Fully Armed. And today we have a very, very interesting subject to talk about. And uh, But before I even talk about the subject, I want to give a shout out to Boss Man, Mr. E. And also, um, I call him Mr. T, uh, Tom, for helping uh, create this macro and everything else like that. Um, Tom was the inspiration because he had a macro that would just run around to all the Vic fields and everything else like that. And he, um, he had a lot of, uh, what's it called? He got a lot of spikes, right? Or a lot of stingers. Sorry about that. And he was telling us, uh, he was playing with us. We were running some puffs and stuff like that. And he was like, hey. You know, I got this great macro because he became an attack hive. He's like, um, I've been collecting a lot, a lot of stingers. Uh, anywhere from like, I think he's like 20 plus for, within the matter of eight hours. I'm like, man, I'm a red hive. I would like to have a lot of stingers and stuff like that. But you know what? Um, I just don't want to run it all the time because I'm trying to level up my hive and trying to do some things. He was already a, a, high, a level... He has a level 20 hive. And so he shows me, um, well, tells me about it. So I go for, get the macro that I, I saw the other day and I was eyeing it to go ahead and test it out. And I'm like, hey, cool. This macro, uh, once I test it out, I'm like, it works really nice. And then I was like, I wonder if I could do a night detection. So I always, I was running strawberry. And when I was running Strawberry, this is just to give you guys a brief uh, before you even see this macro run. Um, and I was like, how can I make this night detection? I tried all kinds of things. But you know, the best thing is, is, is the wall. The wall here becomes uh, uh, super dark. In some places, like um, you're going to see in this field here, it goes black. But in some places, it does uh, different things. So, um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it in, in pepper. Um, but either way, the, the, the walls turn a color. And so you will have to do a night detection specifically to the field you're in. So I'm in pepper, pepper, the walls go black. Okay. And so what I have it do is that once the wall is black, once it reads that they, Hey, there's something that happened in the wall, it goes ahead and runs the Vic macro that I have set up. So I wanted to show you guys that right here. Here we go. Hopefully I'm not at the end of my macro run, but either way, it should detect the wall. Yep, it detect the wall. Now, there is an issue, but that's not a macro issue. It's the way that the the my orientation, I'm actually supposed to be rotated on Pepper a little different. But first thing it does, it runs around Pepper. It comes to Mountain. Now, I have one that if you're in Strawberry uh, or in any other field, it will bring you to Pepper. And then it will bring you to the fields as you see here. For mountain, the fastest way, because I try to um, have this, you know, go super fast, um, was to go from mountain to cactus, from cactus to um, spider, from spider, then it goes to, it has to fly to rose, and then from rose, it has to fly to um, clover. Okay, so either way, it runs to the macro. Maybe I'll, I'll add the time that, um, as you can see, I picked it up some haste killing, killing uh, the Vic, but which is fine um, because the most important thing is that we wanted the Vic dead. Again, this macro will be done soon. So as you saw, um, one of the things that you did see is that when it started doing the circle, um, in the field is because it detected the Vic. So once it detected the Vic, it's like, hey, 
I'm going to circle, 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 circle here um, till the Vic dies. Mm, there we go. Rose. And then after Rose, we have Clover. Now, because I was in Pepper, the macro runs, um, I call it, a little bit faster than if you were in a different field because a lot of times the Vic shows up in in Pepper. But again, we're going to go through the, the macro in a second because if you like what you see, right, then you're going to want to know how it works and everything else like that. Um, as you can see, it's certain patterns and just goes around the field, test it. Um, each field has a slightly different pattern. Um, here was the end field, so I didn't mess with it too much because it was the last last field. And usually when you land, that's where the Vic shows up. Okay. And then from there, it should go back and um, go to Pepper for me. But again, I thought my Pepper was a little different, so I have to actually fix that. Um, so let me open my my macro so you can see... Um, show you some stuff that uh right that we're doing here so i have my big folder um the calibration guide is provided by uh tom mr t okay so i run this one this is the one i'm running here why because uh oops let me close that uh because it runs pepper field a little different okay so that's why it says pepper pepper um because this one is made if you're farming, if you have a night detection in Pepper, run the Pepper one because Vic already goes there. So it will uh, save you time compared to running the full macro. Now, um, and as you can see, I have um, Pepper, I have the Vic detection, I have uh, the Canon, then I have um, Mountain. Uh, top mountain top cactus and spider i don't have a vic detector out here because there is a vic detector within that macro because that macro is a little longer then you go to rose and then you go to clover all of this takes um probably about two minutes and 20 to 30 seconds if you hit a vic a little bit longer because it makes those suckers okay um now I did want to show you the full one. So I'll go over here. Here's the full one, right? Um, here's that this one actually goes to Pepper and I did want to play it for you. Um, just so you could have an idea, let me get it. Um, now, I have it set as a fast macro. Usually if you're in another field, it activates and everything else like that, um, you know. And, and even if you have 10 haste, I actually have something for that. Um, maybe I'll show you right after we do pepper. So here, um, one thing that you will have to do is, is calibrate it. And when I mean calibrate it is because um, these jumps are pretty much timed. And I time them because I try to cut every second off that I can. So I didn't really um, leave too much room as delays um, my speed. I do run a gifty hasty B and you know what? I have no problem really with gift gifted. What I do run into problems is every once in a while you will morph and stuff like that. But besides that, don't have a problem. See, there's your pepper. Boom. Now what happens if you don't hit a cannon? That's okay. We're going to see that now. So you go over here. Because you have too much haste, what usually happens because you have too much haste, you will pass. Oops, you will pass the cannon, which I didn't get to stop it on time. So what I did is, um, and hopefully we can see it. What I did is uh, adjusted for that. Um, well, you see, sometimes you you have those little things, and then you can make. You know, I usually go back if I see it. Now that I see it, I. 
you know, go add another 50 or maybe add another 100 to the delay. So that way um, you could go um, there. But since I did want to show you, uh, so this is the walk to the, oops. So let's go through the macro a little bit. Let's go through the walk through the cannon. Um, now everybody has their own way to go to the cannon, activate the cannon. You can, um, you know, replace that if you want to, uh, and everything else like that. But either way, um, I have a, something slightly different. I have a start over. If it does not see the E, okay, here's the E. I'm running 1080. Okay. But if it does not see the E, it goes ahead and starts the macro, um, over if it sees the e it will just shoot you now my delays are pretty quick because i'm trying to get to the fields really quick without too much delay but sometimes haste gets in the way um especially if you were just in pepper um and so this actually helps it out um so when you need it it will just reset and send you back over but the second time you run it over um it's gone okay um, and then it's like having this delay super long, but most of the time I could just hit the 6,000. Uh, so that's what that does. Um, let's go ahead and see it in action. Okay. Now this is always funny because every time I, when I do land on the E, you see my, the body parts splattered. I just want to miss the cannon. Okay. You miss the cannon boom it resets and it sends you back so that way you can hit the cannon All right pretty nifty okay so that's what that does okay so um boom <laughs> i love that that's always funny my head rolling um anyways so that's how i have that and that's what i did there so if we come over here uh, did I even do any changes? Uh, no, nope. I don't want to do any changes. Um, as you can see, the jumps where you need to do. Now, what I do sometimes, because I'm like, hey, I want to make sure that I land on this E, right? So what I will do here is I will create this right after this cannon where I'm supposed to stop, right? I will put. And I'll put like a tremendous delay like that. Why do I do that delay? And um, I do that delay because I want to know where I'm at. And when you do a fast macro, sometimes you don't see where you're at. So it does that. And it's like, cool. I just missed it. Oh, that because I had haste. Okay. So then I play it again. Hopefully this time without haste, my bees technically should... Um, reset but you know without haste do I land and do I see the E okay. that's where it stops bam I see the E control quit I could come over here I could I could stop here um, I could come to the image I could go here capture and I could get the E okay so anyways. And then when I'm done, I delete that. You know, but again, I have to adjust the speed. You have to know how things move around a little bit. Um, so, no, no, there's not. Uh, oh, keep doing that, but. Okay. Now, the rest of these really is just a field. For example, this is my long field one. Okay. You take the cannon. Okay, you land in mountain. Um, you go through this stuff. It checks your Vic before it goes to cactus. Okay, and then it goes to cactus. So S is down. So A, it hits the wall by the timer. S, it goes down. And it should come off that wall, so... I don't want to put too much because I don't want to fly down to spider. 
I just want to be able to come over. Now what we could do, just to test the macro in itself, I could always just play another macro. And because I was killing Vic and you didn't get to see that, um, we'll do it now. Come over here. Walk to cannon. And you get to see some of the ways that I did things, okay? So, oh, I got a haste eight. I'm just gonna let it run. Cause it should really do what it needs to do if I miss the cannon. Okay. And once you miss the cannon, one, two, four, five. Well, there goes that. That makes me wonder why did it do that? It should have. It should have done what it did before. But sometimes, you know what I've noticed is sometimes, and I don't know if everybody has a, have these problems. Sometimes running a macro within a macro or sub macro, sometimes I have little issues like, like that. I hate that. Okay. Usually I'll put like a little delay in the front, but I'm not going to be doing that now. Maybe that might be my issue. Like a delay 100 or something. But really, it should reset. See, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, then your bees reset, and then the next time you run out there, So this is how you can see, you know, you can see my pattern. I land, then I go this way. Um, I saw that a lot of people use the space there, but I'm like, I don't need to use the space. I'm trying to make it quick. See that shit? So when it lands, it goes towards the wall. So when it makes this jump, I used to hit right there and not go all the way to where I go now. So I had to make sure that I went forward on that ramp towards the wall. Come over here. Bam. I went a little bit further because I picked up pace. And there you go. That's that. So that's how the fields work and everything else like that. Um, now, uh, well, no, you know what? I'm taking this out. Okay, so now delete that. So how do I do my uh, night detection? So you've seen my combination of the macros together. You've seen the macro separate. Um, oh, let me show you. Before I do that, let me show you. So once he sees Vic, i actually been meaning to raise this. Um, and the reason why... Is because if the bees reset, they might not be there when you want it to be. And this could take, you know, just a little bit longer. You can increase these numbers. It don't matter to me. Um, but what is important here is this image. Try to get this image as close as you can to this, right? And the capture for the chat. Um, for the chat over here. So I have a click. So it will click the chat. So it could open because uh, I've seen it where sometimes the <clears throat> it just runs and doesn't open the chat. Ooh. That was a little groggy. Oh, well. So that's where that clicks. And repeat 20, which I've been meaning to change. But because I'm talking to you guys, might as well just change it now. Okay. And really, just a circle pattern. That's all it is. <clears throat> What's important here is this image. You need to have this image. You've seen the image. Oh, my Vic already went. But you've seen the image up here once Vic comes out. Okay? So that's really important to calibrate. Um, 
make sure that your chat box box is open because it's over here and you click over here it doesn't do anything so you need to have your chat box open. okay and then for the last part that I know everybody wants to know how did I do the night detection I'm gonna show you um, so I have my pepper field <clears throat> and right <clears throat> right where I do my bag check I do my night detection okay so this is what I do <laughs> think it's crazy but so on uh, straw and I can show you straw um, this wall right here it's become it's super dark red okay darker than it usually is okay so keep an eye on that because we'll check it in a moment and because it's nighttime I do wanna I know it's nice when you're on because you can actually check all the fields quickly now usually when somebody is in pepper and I'm playing um, because this is actually our AFK server um, usually they will catch activate the pepper automatically now the other person in the server does not have night detection currently okay so Vic is just absent And while we're at it, well, let's see if I can parkour right now. Boom. Hey. BBM. I was kind of uh, waiting to hand it in. As you can see, all nice and done. Yay! Yeah, I really don't want to read. So, if you guys wanted to read, sorry. Get your mission done. Mission done. I don't even know. Am I able to? What is this? <laughs> Lump of coal. Lump of coal. I got a lump of coal. <laughs> 48 energy. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta keep that because I gotta show people that tomorrow. That is funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me show you here. So all I did is an image. I call it night detection. Um, it does the macro. It runs the main uh, Vic macro for Pepper. And then when it comes back, it just ends Pepper because I'm not in Pepper to continue um, the repeats. I did want to add it here just in case it gets to the field and it already turned night, you know, and stuff like that. And I do need to, if I'm correct, add um, over uh, that's the right idea because <clears throat> technically uh sorry about that because i i didn't realize that earlier technically when i'm running pepper my orientation is supposed to be here right so when i actually run pepper so you can see it um no 
I want to save it. Okay, why are you acting so slow? Okay, here we go. Vic Pepper. Alright, so when I'm actually here and I've been going around the field, uh, it will play the Pepper one. Sometimes it goes a little bit more, but you know what? Um, it actually detects um, the Vic regardless, okay? Um, now, depending on my speed, that circles might be a lot bigger. Like, usually you're running the field already and you have, like, haste 10. And, um, you know, it's huge, okay? Um... Okay, well, I don't do blue field. 1% B attack. I'm an attack hive, so I got a pretty large B attack. But, <clears throat> and that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, night detection is possible. And uh, you can get your VIX and everything else like that. So, again... Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you're looking for the macros, I'm going to message to see if they could put the macro in the G drive and everything else like that. If you have any other concerns or questions, we have lots of videos on how to macro um, and get into details of all the other stuff. Because um, this one, you are going to have to um, calibrate it. I am running 1080, so usually if you're running 1080... Um, and I don't run, f um, I run max screen, not full screen, I guess, depending on how you see it, right? Like if you hit F11 or, you know, you know the other option of full, s when you make it, see, this maximum, max screen. I don't have my settings, see, full screen. See how it changed? I just max. So, I just wanted to show you that. I, you know, I hope it runs well for you. Um, it's been working really well over here, and that is what you need to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope it was a uh, video that you were able to um, learn and be useful for this macro. You guys have a great night. Take care.